be a better time. read you this. this so that you can be monetized I, okay, on YouTube. I am monetized to YouTube. I'm not Listen, reading Tom, this book. Some of your views can be very homophobic. What are you talking like, about? I'm just saying the little boys. I don't care about the little boy. Listen, the, and then the transphobic. Transphobic, my that. ass. And, Listen, just read it so that you can get through the guidelines on YouTube, right? Gosh. Jeez, please. In honor of Women's Month, I hereby would like to congratulate Dwayne Wade's daughter, Zaya, on her accomplishments in, in inspiration of being a role model for other women such as herself around her age to encourage to be themselves even if they don't know it yet. Forget this. this wasn't Let me tell y'all something. The, the media has this got wasn't in your a lot of people confused. What are you doing? This LGBT. You're making a very gay, bad image this, for yourself. I'm gonna say it. Gay You're mafia, gonna get canceled, Tyrone. You're gonna get suit oh community. My God. LGBT oh XYZ 007 oh UNITY You did not yeah, just say I, that. I said it. You did not I just I said it. That I said it. Like, I said it. Like, cut his mother fuck my and, and if you We present to you a wrong production. good black people today we are going to be discussing something concerning you guessed it the Wayne Way's child now because of I don't know how these YouTube guidelines are um, because as you know the media is infiltrated with a lot of alphabet in in skittle heads and um, so I will try to be as direct as possible that does not mean that I'm going to shade away from the truth all right we just got to talk in cold so in the news today I saw this last night um, basically Michelle Obama and Dwayne Wade's child had a live stream together and they were streaming together and uh, Dwayne Wade's child asked Michelle Obama a question and just just watch this for yourself. I wanted to ask you, um, what advice do you have for teens who want to be themselves and thrive like you have and currently are? Well, you like know, you have and currently are, you know? <laughs> um, I mean, I, you, you know, I am just so proud of you, you know, being just an amazing role model and embracing your truth right um you're 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 already doing this so maybe this is for some other young people that are listening um I feel but let me just say, it, it it does take time to know what your self is you know for young people so I, my first piece of advice is be patient with yourself you know number right. one um you know at your age or in the teenage years and probably through your 20s you're going to be experimenting with so many versions of yourself, right? All young people are trying on different versions, different voices. They're, they're learning more about their intellect. They're learning about what they love, what they're good at, what they like. This is the period of exploration. Now, like, I'm really watching this, like, what the f*** is going on here? Like, I, <laughs> I was watching this, like, what the f*** is going on here? Like, we living in an age now where boys at the age of 12 and 13 can determine that they were always meant to be a woman. And then on top of that, to disrespect women even more, we have a little boy who identifies as a woman and they're putting him on the forefront in front of other women. And then saying that he can encourage other women and then on top of that they want to push this narrative that people around his age can encourage 
other boys and, and so on and so forth around his age to find themselves. And then here comes Michelle Obama over here hyping this up. And can you blame her? I mean, have you seen her husband? We'll leave it at that. All right. <laughs> but let's just say um, Obama has a little taste of the rainbow himself. All right. We'll leave it at that. And there are some speculations on Michelle herself. If it's, you know what? We're not even going to deal with that today. Nonetheless, right? We're dealing with a boy who said that he always knew he was a girl since the age of three. How in the hell did you know that you was a girl at the age of three? You got to understand how the media is and you also have to understand how malicious and devious the Hollywood industry is to where you have a little boy who said that from the age of three he knew he was a girl. If you was born biologically a man, then there is no mistake in that. Biologically, you are a man. There is no mistake in whatever God has made. If you were born a man, you should be proud to be a man. But you have such hatred for being a male, for whatever has happened to you growing up, because I do not know what happens in that household. And again, Hollywood do be getting down on some, some low down stuff. So for him to have such hatred for his manhood, um, well, he, don't, he, didn't, he, never had, he never had manhood. But for him to have such hatred for his gender and being who he is, he decided that he wanted to change. Now, I find it very, very interesting that you have kids who get molested at the age of 12, 13, and 14, you even up to 16. The narrative that they will go along with is that the children that were in relationships with older men at the age of 25 going up to 30 that they didn't have the mental capacity to make a valid decision for themselves because their mind hasn't fully developed yet that's what they would tell you so if we're going along with that narrative how can somebody at the age of three determine that they're a girl how can a boy at the age of three determine that he was born in the wrong body there is nothing you can do about that and that is a psychological issue. But because I call it a psychological issue and I call it a mental illness, I'm the one that's being accused of being transphobic and homophobic and all type of isms and... and <laughs> but when you really look at it, how can you accuse me of having an irrational fear or hatred for somebody that has a mental illness? I want all the best for that person. But what you're not going to do is enforce me or accuse me or try to guilt shame me into playing role play with you, playing dress up with you. You want me to call you a woman. That's a disrespect to my mother, my grandmother and every woman in my family and every woman that I respect and love and admire. I would never call another man a woman just because he wants to be called a woman. That what, what type of buffoonery are we living in to where we have to call women men and call men women? What type of world do we have to live in to where women that want to be men, we have to call them men or, or we're being accused of hate or discriminating against them? And, and the same and vice versa. We live in a messed up society, upside down, Eurocentric, westernized as, as possible. And when you really study all the way back to the 1970s of how the gay liberation movement came about and then studying NAMBLA, North American Man Boy Love Association, and when you study the pioneers of the LGBT movement, uh, people like Harry Hay, Alfred Kinsey, Aleister Crawley, Hugh Hefner, I could go on and on and on. When you look at the person who created the LGBT flag, all of these people were pedophiles. that the group NAMBLA, who are the focus of this film, claim to take their inspiration directly from Alfred Kinsey. And while many in the gay community would deny that homosexuality is linked to pedophilia, it is worth noting that the very founder of the gay rights revolution, Harry Hay, consistently advocated the inclusion of NAMBLA in gay pride parades. 
In fact, here is a photo of Hay marching in a parade with the words, Nambla walks with me, written on his back. Needless to say, Hay had been persuaded by his chief influence, Alfred Kinsey. Like Kinsey, many pedophiles refuse to acknowledge that their sexual involvement with children qualifies as child molestation. Every last one of them, every last one of them, the creators, the people that created the LGBT movement, they were pedophiles. Yes, yes, this might shake you up a little bit, but if you got an LGBT flag in your bio, you are an advocate for a movement that was created by a pedophile. You are pushing an agenda that was created by pedophiles. Because what type of person would be interested in sexualizing children? What type of person would be interested in telling a little boy that he was born a girl? Telling a little girl that they were born a boy? Or even worse, telling little boys and girls that they were born lesbian and gay and this, that, and the third. Sexual beings. That's what a gay person is. That's what a lesbian is. Somebody who has a sexual uh, attraction for the same sex. For us, for us who are family oriented, we don't teach our kids about sex and, and, and Gucci Gucci and, and Moochie Moochie. <laughs> we know that's natural. We know it's biologically natural because eventually a boy will end up loving a woman and creating a family. That's just how nature works. We don't enforce this. We don't, we don't create a straight history straight people history. We don't create organizations or, or create uh, school systems around our sexuality. That's what y'all do. We don't create uh, shows around our sexuality. That's what y'all do. Something that's family oriented isn't sexual. Me being a black man who has studied black nationalism, who has studied pan-Africanism, who has studied self-preservation, who has studied everything concerning being unapologetically black and being race first and family first. I am a man who strongly advocates for the unity between a black man and a black woman. Nothing more, nothing less. With that being said, I am an advocate for family-based units. I am about straight black pride. I'm not about anything else other than things that can advance the black race or, or much less uh, advanced black people and LGBT and the lifestyle um, if that's even considered a lifestyle <laughs> but I do not con I do not condone the ideologies and, and the conceptions that were created by Europeans I do not uh, advocate barbarianism I don't advocate mental illness I advocate the unity of creating black families and you cannot create a family between two men or two women you can't have functionality when you are telling your little boys and your little girls that you can turn into different genders or that there's more than two genders or that uh, you was born a sexual being because if you tell a child that they was born a sexual being what limit is there to that then what type of organization would tell a little boy and a little girl that they were born sexual beings? Only a pedophile would be interested in that. Think about that. The LGBT community are telling children that they were born sexual beings. You can feel how you want to feel about this particular video. I guess I have to make this caution that I do not have anything against anybody who's a part of the LGBT community. I don't have any hatred towards anybody who wants to identify as being transgender or transsexual or who wants to be involved in transvestism. I'm just saying that this is a mental illness and that you have this media, you have this industry, you have Hollywood who is pushing this movement, um, especially on kids for some reason. I mean, if you even look at the gay parades, they have these little kids out here and, and all type of stuff, just sexualizing them. Do, do people not have an issue with this? Like, I'm not understanding. The person who really created the LGBT uh, flag didn't have an issue with sexualizing children, didn't have an issue with 
children coming out, children sexualizing themselves. The person, like, do people not have an issue with this? You know what I'm saying? Or do, do y'all just disregard this or ignore it? I'm, I'm just trying to understand this. It's beyond me. But until next time, I'm Tyrone. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, if you didn't enjoy this video, if you like what I just say, if you didn't like what I say, let other me know in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm Tyrone again. Thank you for watching this video. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with other people. Until next time, I'm Tyrone, and I am out.